Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Simon Cromer, and today and this week, we're gonna be doing a full teak restoration on this 1988 330 Sea guys. He is one of our detailing customers. We just did a full restoration on his boat about a month or two ago. I will take you back there right now. previous owner he painted all his teak gray so we have to take off so we got to sand off uh, all this gray and we're going to re-teak it with a natural teak finish uh, all marine grade and then we're going to top it off he wants a gloss finish so this is a full week's job we're going to take some time we got to take all the trim off uh, get everything off the boat that we can and then we're going to sand what we can't get off the boat on the boat so we're going to be running between our shop and here and it's going to be a fun week guys this here on the back transom part of the boat all that stuff sanded and it looks really nice um so we come up here towards the front where the helm is a lot of trim work up there took all the trim work off yesterday we transported that back to my shop and i have two guys there today working on that well i am going to come here and finish up what needs to be finished on the boat so Right here, um, cup holders, got all that sanded. Most of it, not all of it. We got a Dremel tool we'll use to get in between there. But everything else we're using is just a DeWalt sander. And um, it works great, I love the DeWalt sander. It has good suction, uh, takes most of the dust. Now there is, you know, obviously you can see there, there's still a lot of dust everywhere. So it's gonna need a full wash, full cleaning. We wanted to kind of plastic tape off the cabin, make sure nothing gets in there. Cause we got a lot of this trim work right here that was not able to come off the boat leading into the cabin. So we have to get that done. Um, got a little piece over there that we weren't able to get off. And then hopefully, hopefully uh, we will be able to get these two pieces off and I can transport that to the shop as well. That would be perfect. So that is the plan. Um, now I'm going to take you back to some footage from yesterday because I got some footage yesterday. I wanted to make sure all this teak stuff was gonna go well. So guys, let me take you back there right now and let's get this video rolling. All I'm using here is a DeWalt sander. So no, it's not anything special, but it's a great sander. One of the best orbital sanders in my opinion. It has great suction. It collects a lot of the dust. Now it won't collect all of the dust. So you'll still have to do a full wash when you're done. It will get dusty, it will get messy. Uh, that's just the reality of it. Now I don't do a whole lot of teak jobs, but they do have a very nice Merca system so to speak and it comes with a vacuum a hose that's going to suck all the dust up into the vacuum and they also have the sander now that's an expensive system but it is very nice i don't do personally i don't do a whole lot of sanding whether that's bottom painting fiberglass repair t jobs this is only my second t job ever i don't really do that i pretty much just stick with detailing but this is one of my detailing customers and i know how desperate the teak was and guys this teak Getting this thing right, getting all the gray paint off is a game changer. It is totally transforming this boat. So I wanted to do it for him. He really wanted it done. And I'm so glad that we were able to do this for him. So guys, here I'm just sanding off all the gray in the trim work. All of it leading down to the cabin. We did tape off the cabin. We put plastic there. So we try to avoid getting his uh, cabin all dusty. So you definitely want to make sure that you're blocking that off. 
because guys that'll be a mess if you don't if you don't tape off if you don't plastic off the cabin you're gonna have to clean the whole thing because it'll get dusty down there so yeah guys just sit back relax and enjoy um we're gonna keep uh, moving forward Let's go ahead and talk grit for a second. So how do you know what grit you need to use on your teak? Well, first of all, we are doing trim work. So we're gonna do 120, we're doing two rounds of 120. So basically, how do you know what you should do? Well, trim work, people aren't really stepping on it. I had to get a little finer so we get more of that gray paint off of the teak. So that worked great for this job. Now, if you're doing flooring, you know, people are gonna be stepping on and off of the boat. You don't wanna go any higher than 80 because that is when people will start to slip and fall. So 80 on flooring, trim work, you can go a little finer. All right guys, so here's kind of the plan. So pretty much I went through with 120 and I did everything, all the teak, uh, just kind of sanded it all down. Just, you know, pretty quickly, try to get most of the gray paint off. And now I'm on the second round. So second round, I'm just doing 120 again, but I'm getting all the fine details, you know, really getting everything perfect everything good and then i'm gonna have to come back with some hand sandpaper so i mean you hear some of our work you can check out so far you know so everything i like this piece right here i can't get the sander in but pretty much all this trim trim work around the cabin is pretty much almost perfect um we have a piece over there that's pretty looking pretty good now uh anchor up top i will jump there and we'll check that out uh, here in a second and then down here towards the transom of the boat we still have to do the second round on this but this is our initial start so it's looking pretty good um yeah like i said i'm gonna have to use a dremel tool to get around corners and then i'll have to use some hand sandpaper and we're gonna try to get all the sanding done today so that tomorrow we can jump straight into staining which is the exciting part guys i am super excited for this so let's go up front and let's check out the anchor real quick so I did my initial sanding and a little bit of the second round sanding. Now what you'll notice here is, of course he did not, or obviously he did not paint this part gray because it was outside. Um, he just kind of did teak, I believe on it. So we're just trying to get all the old stain off of the teak. So pretty much that area right there can't get a sander in and right back here can't get the full sander in. So we're gonna either have to use another tool or use uh, a hand piece of sandpaper and Pretty much the goal here is get all the old stain off, level this out. You can see little crevices, little cracks, trying to get all this flat, you know, because the key here is getting all the old stain off. That is so important to get all that old stain off before you do the, um, yeah, before you restain it with natural teak, which is what we're going to be doing. This tool right here that I'm using is called a Dremel and it basically it has little attachments such as a sanding attachment which is what I'm using on this one. Um, it just spins in a circle and you can adjust the speed on it and it's very nice for getting around corners, getting in edges. Uh, even this cup holder is amazing so obviously I'm not going to get a big sander in there so 
this tool works perfect and it takes out a good amount it can take off a good amount of wood so you just gotta be careful you gotta be detailed with it and guys if you use it right it's an amazing tool and use it to your advantage um that's what i did here so i did this with the dremel and then i came back with a piece of hand sandpaper and did a few rounds there and just made sure everything was smooth and even and yeah guys uh this tool is amazing and very useful we are on day two and so far what we've done is we've sanded two times with 120 um all the teak has been sanded so back in the transom up here we have the cabin all that teak and then this right here the cup holders and over there so what we're using for teak um, is we're going to be using Cetal Marine Natural Teak. So our owner wants, um, he wants a natural teak look with a gloss finish. So we're going to do two coats with this. You want to get it on and you want to let it absorb and soak in. That's why you're going to do two um, coats and it's really old teak wood. So it's going to absorb really well. So we're going to do this uh, and we got a paintbrush, just a foam paintbrush right here in application. So guys. Let's get started and we're gonna start here in the back. Let's go. All right, so we're just gonna dip a little bit in, just kind of enough to get a little bit on it and then just gonna dab it in. You wanna get into all the little cracks, you know, and just keep it nice and thin, nice and uniform. So guys, we're gonna work our way through this and I will go ahead and time lapse this. You might be wondering why I'm using a foam brush instead of a paintbrush. Well, I don't like the paintbrush because sometimes some of the bristles will get stuck into the teak and I don't really like the finish on it. So I've always used foam for teak and it's been amazing. They hold up well, they leave a good finish and that is what I prefer. So guys, the thing with teak is make sure, now you don't have to be as gentle as I was earlier in the video. Make sure you get enough teak oil on the wood because the older teak is, the more it'll absorb and the darker it'll stain. So make sure you're getting enough on there. Um, let it soak and let it absorb. And I would never say to do anything less than two coats. So that's what we're doing here. That's what I recommend, at least two, if not three coats. So we're doing the two coats of marine grade natural teak. And then we're gonna finish off with a gloss finish, which is what the customer wants. So guys, this is going very well. Um, it looks amazing. So we're gonna let it soak in, we're gonna let it absorb, and then we will be doing the next coat here soon. guys remember that we're going to be bouncing back and forth between the boat and my shop so we're back at the shop we're sanding we're doing the second and final round of sanding and then we will be staining with marine natural teak
All right, guys, we got most of this sanded, um, second round. So pretty much since the previous owner painted the teak gray, it's kind of hard, but you really got to take some product off if you want to get all that out. And the reality is you're not going to get every single gray piece out of there because those grain, some of the grain is really deep, so it's just not going to happen. But that's what happens when you paint teak. It's, it's a lot of work and a lot of sanding, and you will have to take a lot of material off. But guys, we're just finishing up. Got a little bit left to do over here. And then we will start staining everything here at the shop. Two other things I forgot to mention, guys. When you're done sanding, take an air compressor, take a hose, take a fine blowing attachment and blow out all the teak, all the cracks, guys. Blow out all the dust that is in the cracks of the teak wood. Um, and then number two, take a rag, get a wet with some water and wipe down all the teak wood. This is gonna ensure that everything is clean, prepped, and ready to be stained. On to our last coat of teak and we're doing Cetal Marine Sickens uh, gloss. So this is our final finish coat. This is gonna gloss everything up and leave a nice glossy finish. So we're gonna finish this back transom up. Jake's painting it on with a foam brush. So the older teak gets, so this is a 1988 boat. So the older teak wood gets, the darker it stains. So that's why you can see the very dark stain, which looks really nice um, all around the boat. So here, and then even up by the cabin area, which we haven't touched yet, and even the cup holders. So last coat going on the boat right now. Guys, this is a wrap to the video. If you liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Be sure to share this to other people so that we can reach more people. That is our goal here. Reach more people, help more people. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the transformation from start to finish. It went from gray to natural teak to gloss finish. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button now, and I will see you on the next video. Peace out.